Alright, so check this out. Speed and strength. Oh, comes with a back pad. That's the reason why I got it. Main reason. Everything else in the price range uh, that was a leather jacket wasn't even coming with that back pad. So, and it also comes with the chest inserts. These are only foam. This is a C rated. This is only foam. Uh, what else? C in the shoulder. I got the titanium sliding thing. Here's the elbow. Uh, pretty decent jacket. It weighs like 8 pounds. Um, feels heavy, but I feel really protected in this shit. Like, after wearing this, or after wearing a leather jacket, period, I don't ever want to go back to a textile. I just don't feel protected in it. Anyway, so, see the jacket goes on fine. Right? As far as the... Uh, this is my elbow joint right here and I can kind of feel the armor it comes up to here elbow joints right around here armors up to here so I figure I'm in a riding position it's good shoulders are perfectly in place like I don't think it could get any better than that let me zip it up and show you um, I have waist adjustment here which I have adjusted it according to my waist. Um, the only thing with the 42, 42 size was, uh, I think the waist started anywhere from uh, 34 and up, I think, or 36 and up. But anyways, that's adjustable. So I, I just may have tightened it too much to kind of try and get the zip to, to catch. All right, there we go. Oh, also it's a steel zipper, it's not one of those plastic or the YKK ones that the, that most jackets come with nowadays. I think the textile one has a YKK zipper, but the leather one has a steel. It feels pretty durable, like I don't think it would take, take a shit on me anytime soon. Um, so here's the jacket on. Now as you can see, you see these things right here? Right here is where I think it just might be too big around the chest like I don't have much room to you know stick my chest out um, as far as the back is concerned it feels pretty loose in the back but I don't know if it's because it's a it's a hump jacket that I'm trying on so where is it yeah this right here is like a little stretch panel right here um, it's supposed to help you when I'm when you're in a position like this, but you know I don't know if it's supposed to kind of wrinkle up like that when I stand normal. I might have to watch a few other videos to see if it happens to other people. Sleeves are a little bit long, just because it's a 42. See right there, so I have to kind of move them up, and they're adjustable here, and they're also adjustable here. So I can tighten it up to the middle spot and I'm pretty good around the forearm. So this isn't going anywhere. The armor is right there. It starts right around here and it goes all the way down to almost my wrist. Okay. What else? Uh, and I think that's about it really. Otherwise, on the torso, it feels pretty good. The neck, also, say, when I get in a position like this, the neck starts to come together in a really awkward manner. I don't know if it's just because that the jacket is new. But other than that, I mean, I like the jacket. Here's the, here's the back. Um, this is me standing normal now. I'm just standing normal. This is what it looks like. Now, I'm assuming when I'm in a full riding position, it'll be like that. And, uh, yeah, man, shoulders are starting right around here, and I feel that they end right around here, right where they should. So shoulder-wise, everything feels good. Chest measurement, uh, maybe, maybe this is, this is why it's so big here, right there. So I don't know if I should really go back and look at a 40, but there's no 40s available. This is the only one, this is the smallest size I could find, and I actually had them price match it, otherwise it was for 270 something. Uh, 
But let's see, if I find a 40, I'm going to return this and get the 40. But let me know what you think.